Welcome to a lesson on additive and multiplicative reasoning. In this first problem, we're given the heights of two trees in 2003 and then the heights of the same two trees in 2006. And we're asked the question, which tree grew more, tree A or tree B? So we need to determine how much tree A grew from 2003 to 2006, then determine how much tree B grew from 2003 to 2006, then determine which tree grew more. So what I hope you'll do is pause the video, analyze this problem, and come up with a possible answer. Before we go back to the tree example, let's answer question A and question B. If I begin with four and end with eight, what mathematical process might I have used? So if we think of using addition, notice how the beginning value of four plus four equals the ending value of eight, so one way to describe the process would be to say, add four. However, if we think of using multiplication, also notice that four times two is equal to eight, and therefore, we could also describe the process as multiply by two. Both processes are correct because, because if we start with the beginning value of four and perform the given processes or operations, we do get the ending value of eight. It's just two ways of thinking about change. For B, if I begin with five and end with 20, what mathematical process might I have used? Again, if we first think about the operation or process of addition, notice the beginning value of five plus 15 is equal to the ending value of 20. So we could describe the process as add 15. Thinking of the process of multiplication, because five times four is equal to 20, we can also describe the process as multiply by four. Both of the processes are correct, but they're found using a different type of reasoning. When we determined what we added to the original value to get the ending value, we were using additive reasoning. Additive reasoning looks at the absolute change between two quantities, and when using additive reasoning, we compare the quantities using subtraction. So to determine the absolute change using additive reasoning, we take the new quantity and subtract the old quantity, and this will tell us what we add to the old quantity to obtain the new quantity. For example, looking at A, Using additive reasoning, notice that the ending value of eight minus the beginning value of four is equal to four, telling us using additive reasoning, we'd add four to the old value to get the new value. In B, using additive reasoning, notice that 20 minus five is equal to 15, so 15 is the absolute change. So using additive reasoning, the process would be add 15. When we thought about the process of multiplication, we were using multiplicative reasoning. Multiplicative reasoning looks at the relative change between two quantities. When using multiplicative reasoning, we compare the quantities using division. So to determine the relative change, we take the new quantity and divide by the old quantity. So going back up to A, to determine what we multiply by, notice how we can take the new quantity of eight and divide by the old quantity of four, which does give us two, telling us one process would be to multiply by two. In B, notice how if we take 20 and divide by five, we get four, which tells us the relative change is four, meaning the mathematical process would be multiply by four. Now let's go back to our tree problem. Let's first look at these heights using additive reasoning. For tree A, the height starts at two meters and then increases to five meters. Using additive reasoning, notice that two plus three is equal to five, or we can say five minus two is equal to three, and therefore using additive reasoning, the process would be add three. Now let's look at the heights of tree B. The height of tree B goes from three meters to six meters. We'll notice three plus three is equal to six, or we could say six minus three is equal to three, and therefore using additive reasoning, the process would also be add three. So notice using additive reasoning, both trees have grown three feet. But now let's use multiplicative reasoning. 
going back to tree A, the height is two meters and then five meters. So using multiplicative reasoning, we want to think about two times what is equal to five. Now that may not be an easy question, and therefore we can use the formula for relative change. Remember we take the new value, or new quantity, and divide by the original or old quantity. Five divided by two equals five halves, or two and a half. So we can describe the process using multiplicative reasoning as multiply by five halves, or two and a half. To make sense of this, we can think of this in terms of copies. Think about how many copies of two make five. Well, two copies of two make four, so to get five, we have to take two and one-half copies of two, which is the reason why one process would be to multiply by two and a half or five halves. Now looking at the heights of tree B, the height is three meters and then six meters. This one's a little bit easier. Notice three times two is equal to six, or we can say six divided by three equals two. So because the relative change is two, we can describe the process as multiply by two. So there is more than one way to answer the question, which tree grew more? If we use additive reasoning, we can say the trees grew by the same amount. If we use multiplicative reasoning, we can say tree A grew more because it grew two and a half times its height, while tree B only grew two times its height. So I'm gonna go ahead and say the answer is tree A grew more than tree B. And then answer the question, why do you believe your answer is correct? I'll justify this by saying tree A grew two and a half times its height, while tree B only grew two times its height. Now before we go, I do want to point out that both kinds of reasoning are important and valuable in various contexts. As a math student, it is beneficial for you to be aware of your own thinking. Are you thinking additively or multiplicatively? Is it appropriate to do one, but not the other, type of reasoning? And can both be appropriate ways of thinking?